Hello, Twin Flame. Um, Divine Masculines and Divine Femmes. Um, I would like to read a little bit out of the Bible. It's Proverbs um, 16, 1 through 15. It says, to human beings belong to human beings belong the plans of heart of the heart. But from the Lord comes a proper answer of the tongue. People may think all their ways are pure, but motives are weighed motives are weighed by the Lord. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your, your plans. The Lord works out everything to its proper end, even the wicked for a day of disaster. The Lord detests all the proud of hearts. Be sure of this. They will not go unpunished. Through love and faithfulness, sin is atoned for. Sin is atoned for. Through the fear of the Lord, evil is avoided. When the Lord takes pleasure in anyone, anyone's ways, he causes the enemy to make peace with them. Better a little with righteousness than much gain with injustice. In their hearts, human beings plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. The lips of, of a king speaks as an oracle. Y'all hear that? The lips of a king speaks as an oracle. Oracle cards? And his mouth does not betray justice. Honest scales and balances belongs to the Lord. All the weights in the bag are of his making. Kings detest wrongdoing for a throne. Kings detest wrongdoing for a throne is established through righteousness. A throne is only established through righteousness, guys. So y'all hear that right. Kings detest wrongdoing for a throne is established through righteousness. Kings take pleasure in honest lips. They value value persons who speak what is right. A king's wrath is a messenger of death, but the wise all the wise will appease it. When a king's face brightens, it means life his favor is like a rain cloud in spring. How much better to get wisdom than gold, to get insight rather than silver silver. Silver excuse me guys. The highway of the upright avoids evil. Those who guard their ways preserve their lives. Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Better to be lowly in spirit along with the oppressed than to share plunder with the proud. Those who give heed to instruction prosper, but and blessed are those who trust in the Lord. The wise in heart are called discerning. And gracious words promote instruction. Prudence is a fountain of life to the prudent. But folly brings punishment to fools. The heart of the wise make their mouth prudent. And their lips promote instruction. Gracious words are a honeycomb. Sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. There is a way that appears to be right. But in the end it leads to death. The appetite of laborers work for them. Their hunger drives them on. Scoundrels plot evil, and on their lips is like a scorching fire. The perverse stir up dissensions, dissensions, and gossip separate. Gossip separates, separate close friends. The violent entice their neighbors and lead them down a path that is not good. Those who wink with their eyes are plotting perversity. Those who, those who purse their lips are bent on evil. Gray hair is a crown of splendor. It is attained in the ways of righteousness. Better a patient person than a warrior. Those with self-control than those who take a city. The lot is cast into the lap, but its ever decision is from the Lord. Okay, guys, and I'm going to stop right there.
And um, I want to see what message does the Divine Masculine want to give the Divine Fem. Holy Ghost, anointing of the Holy Ghost, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, come in in the mighty name of Jesus and give me a quick read on where, what message does the, the Divine Masculine want to give the Divine Fem? What message, what message does he want to give to the Divine Fem? Father God, anything that would come to sabotage this reading, I cast it down to the pits in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that isn't unlike you, Lord God, I pray that you take it, a hold of it and disregard it in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we just come before you asking for forgiveness of our sins. Lord God, asking you to take full control of these energies in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, could you give me a few more cards? Okay. Seven of Swords. Deceptive behavior someone trying to steal or get away with something someone that's being sneaky regarding something someone in the past the the masculines were were trying to be sneaky and manipulative manip you oh excuse me guys i be getting my words mixed up Manipulated, manipulative. Oh, excuse me, God. Nine of Pentacles. Uh, he knows the message he's um, getting here. He knows that she's focusing on her career, her stability, her uh, spirituality, her careers, her um, her money, her. Um, Getting herself together and grounded. He sees her and he knows she's focusing on that. Five of Swords. Um, it's one sword up in the air. And he has one, two, three, four. And over there, it is someone kneel down like they have been. Oh, my God. Uh, this is. Five of Swords, like he have won the battle in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, do you see all those people? He's looking at Divine Film, and actually this is her standing in her power. Five of Swords, she have fought uh, a great fight, and all of them, you see people kneeling. It's one kneeling down right there. It's one on the ground. And she's holding up her sword and she's meaning business. She have won this battle and the uh, it was in the dark, but God is shining back there. You could see the uh, mid daylight or whatever is coming in and um, shining light on this situation of this great uh, altercation uh, fight. That Divine Film has fought uh, people off of her. And she won the battle. And I mean, now it doesn't matter to her or whatever. Like, it is what it is. Uh, King of Wands. Uh, he's sitting. He's trying to sit on the throne. He's wanting to be righteous. He's wanting to be right about what have happened here. Whatever. He's wanting to do better by Divine Film. He's wanting to sit on the throne. He's wanting to be a king of wands, but he's looking at her like uh, she's fought. And then uh, seven of pentacles. Uh, she's sitting in a peaceful state of mind right now. Um, really not letting anyone uh, Seven of Pentacles shows that hard work and patience will be rewarded and working methodically towards accomplishments with 
will bring success. You should receive good news. Uh, he's one to bring news forward to her. He knows that she has fought for this connection and she didn't give up. And Eight of Swords, uh, she's blindfolded. She's there with her Eight of Swords. What I'm getting from that is uh, Divine Femme is, really isn't, uh, she really isn't, uh, uh, she's feeling restricted, not letting anyone in. She still have a wall up. Fear, fear is preventing you from moving forward and your confidence may have taken knock, a knock. However, as this image shows, none of the swords actually is touching the woman, only her bound senses and preventing her from moving out of this situation, seeing it clearly. The advice of this card is to remain calm and strong, not to give in to feeling uh, paralyzed in order to progress out of this situation represents clarity of thoughts therefore answers is available uh answers is available to divine film some of them they're not blindfolded to the fact of how they fought for this divine masculine up against all these different people it was all kinds of people coming and seven of cups choices he's looking at her or whatever and he's been deceptive or sneaky it's still some deception could be going on that he's trying to he sees her as or this could be divine film and he sees her sneaking away from this connection after she's fought because it's swords down here as well or whatever and he sees her as having choices um and her trying to make a decision and trying to pick which one. And they're mirroring each other. He has decisions still to that he's trying to pick and choose and decide whom he's going to choose or what he's going to choose. Uh, some of these divine films, they are blindfolded to the fact of this situation, but she can take this blindfold off. Some of them, it's two groups. Some are still blinded to the fact, and that's the group that's falling, you know, that's kind of a ways behind that's on another level. And then you got the divine films that have taken off the blinder and the blindfold, and she's no longer uh, uh, hidden to the fact of all this sneaky, deceptive behaviors and all this sneakiness that was going on due to this connection. Or whatever and like the divine masculine was trying to get away with something it could go either or two different ways he's wanting to be a king she's focusing on and she will receive good news but divine them have fought and uh actually she even fought with the divine masculine as well in the spiritual realm guys and so he knows that she's focused on her career and her stability and her pinnacles and her money now. And that's all I have. God bless. If you guys don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. And I accept all donations. Thank you.